Welcome to Cooking with Michelle. We're here with Michelle Estrada, who is the Family and Consumer Sciences Agent for the Cooperative Extension Service of Wayne County. Well, thank you, Wayne. I'm so excited that you're here in our kitchen again. Well, we're excited, too, because I keep getting feedback on the street. I mean, we are talking food here. Mm -hmm. Feedback on the street about how much people like the program. I know. Yeah. Uh, actually, I had a meeting this morning at the Wayne Pregnancy Center. And they also told me that they watch our shows. Did so, they really? Yes. And one of our parents from 4-H. So we have a lot of feedback. That is wonderful. Yes. Well, here we go. What's on the menu for today? Well, today we're having festive tacos. Festive we're, tacos. Yes. Not just tacos. No, just tacos. Okay. We're going to make fish tacos. Oh. Tacos de pescado. Tacos to who? De pescado. De fish pescado? pescado. Fish pescado. Oh, fish pescado. Yes. Fish, pe what's pescado? Fish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pescado. <laughs> okay. I got it. I knew that. So I just came <coughs> back from Mexico, and we live very close from the uh, coast. Yeah. So I have been eating a lot of fish. So That's I good. love fish. And actually, we should uh, eat fish three days a week. Really? So that's a recommendation. I, I eat it almost three days. I love oh, fish. Good, oh, yeah, I eat a lot of fish. That's I why love you fish. look so healthy and strong. Uh, do I look healthy? Yes. <laughs> makeup. That's all. Okay. This is good makeup. <laughs> that's, uh, I love fish, yeah. All the omega-3 fatty acids, mm -hmm. all the... All the, the, the good fats. The good fats in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I love that. Plus, I like it. It's just good eating. It's just good for us. Yeah, it is. So what? And what a better combination when we put some veggies, some fruits there. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Because these fish, you will not really taste the fish. It's not, you know, it's not seasoned that, that good. Or, but the salsa and the slaw that we're going to use, that's what makes these tacos taste so good. Okay. Well, I'm ready to get started. I'll wash my hands. Go and wash All your right. hands, and I'm going to start with the ingredients. Very good. Is that good? That's good. Okay, the first ingredient that we're going to need, of course, because we are making tacos, we're going to make, we're going to get corn tortillas. I prefer corn tortillas. Um, other people, they may prefer flour, but I think for this recipe, you will really like corn tortillas. We're going to need a green bell pepper. We're going to also need mango. And this is the kind of mango that uh, it tastes better with this recipe. Always when you make a mango salsa, you need to look for a mango that is not that sweet. Like there's like the honey mango, that is a very sweet kind. Uh, then we also have cucumber in here, a red onion, we have cilantro, we have chili powder, we have fat-free ranch, uh, we have cabbage, what else am I missing? Oh, and of course, we need fish. <laughs> we need a little bit of pepper, uh, black pepper, paprika, and we also need um, uh, oil. Okay? I so, are you ready? Have to, I have to put gloves on because I, I have a little s scratch on my hand. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, on both hands. So That's okay. So, and this is part of food safety, right? If we're going to be cooking for our family or mm -hmm. for our friends, mm -hmm. we need to be sure that everything is safe. So, because you're going to be cooking for me, I really appreciate that you're doing this. Oh, I feel so happy about that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for doing this. Sure. <laughs> sure. Of course. Uh, See, that's why I like to eat at home. Why do you like to eat at home? Because I know that it's, um, when we prepare oh, our food, sure. it's safe and it's clean. So this and is you're the not best saying way. that when you eat out, it's not safe and clean, we, but you just don't know. We never know, you right? Never and know. we right. have excellent restaurants that they follow the food safety that's rules. That's true. They do. But, uh, but I like when at home we can also follow those rules. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Thank you. Plus, I like home cooking anyway. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's healthy, it's good, mm -hmm. and it's delicious, so we're ready to do that. So what Why do we not? do first? Okay, so first we're going to fix our fish. So if you want to spray it or pan. Spray the mm -hmm. pan. Yes. With That's olive oil. Olive oil, so right. we know that the olive oil is good for us, so that today that we're eating those good fats. Let's spray it how much? And our cutting board and everything. <laughs> you did great. Did I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're using tilapia. Tilapia. And, mm -hmm. That's the fish. The fillet. Is that the name or the? Or? Yeah, that's the fish. That's tilapia the fish. is okay. the fish. Hello, tilapia. So we're just gonna put our fillet. Yes, and we can. You start any way you want. Either and way. Then we're gonna. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Let's start okay. that way. Okay. Perfect. How's that? Mm, wow. Doing okay? I like your style, yeah. 
Okay. So great. Thank you. Now we're gonna season these, season. which is with black pepper. Summer, fall, winter, spring. Yes, that's okay. perfect. I just seasoned with, them. Yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one. Believe it or not, I really. got that one. Oh, good. <laughs> so we're gonna use black pepper and paprika. Black pepper mm -hmm. and paprika. Yes. Is, is that what these are here? Yes, those are. Mm -hmm. All right. This is this is black pepper. Yes. All right. I'll just go Notice to... Notice that we're not using any salt. So because, oh, yeah. like I said, these flavors are going to be so good that you will not need the salt. Oh, that's good. And for those that have high blood pressure, what a best way, what a great recipe for them. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. I find that if you, if you, uh, is that enough? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Great. I find, for me personally, mm -hmm. if when I stopped eating a lot of salt, mm -hmm. that after a while you kind of get used to it. Right, our taste changed. Yeah, right? it does. It does. Many people say, "Well, I can't. I'm so used to eat uh, salty food. Where oh, I always add salt." If you try and if you do it gradually, mm. I think you can do a good job. That like it's, it's it's hard to start in the beginning. Everything is hard when you try to change sure your behavior. But if you if you said, "I'm going to do it," you yeah. will do it. The results are certainly worth mm -hmm. the little bit of effort is you have to put in. Is that giving you a hard time? It is giving me a hard time. Yeah. Hello in there. Let's straighten up. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah, try. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to work. All now. right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm kind of sorry. Um. Uh, <laughs> come in. You will get there. I will. I will eventually. I promise you. This is a quick recipe. It is quick. So. <laughs> Except when I'm involved with it, it's just no. Not good. <laughs> Okay, almost done here. Okay, now. Is this enough paprika? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Is that okay? That, that, that's good. That's fine? Yeah, yeah that's fine. You're just, you now we're oh, look do, at the Yeah, let's, let's turn them now. Huh? Oh, we're, we're going to turn, turn them over? Yes. Okay. How's that? They're perfect. Okay, do I season them again over here? Yes, let's Oh, really? Have Gee, I hope I have some left. Yes, you yeah. will, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Okay, let me try. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> good. Okay. So tell me when you cook fish at home, yeah. <laughs> how do you cook your fish? <laughs> I grab the keys to the car. Oh, okay. And you I, go on to the grocery store <laughs> or to the oh, farmer's oh, market? Not exactly. No, oh, not okay. Exactly. When I cook fish at home, uh, uh, miraculously, it's already cooked. Wow. I just walk in the door and it's... That is amazing. Well, it's in the bag. So I think after today, you will be able to... Um, Actually cook it for to, real? Yes, for you real, so? yes. And I want to tell you, many people think, well, fish can be a little bit ex expensive. Yeah. But um, for this recipe, I actually bought a two pound of um, tilapia. Yeah. And in the back, I think you can make this recipe three times. With two pounds of tilapia? Yes, uh, using just uh, four fillet. Use four fillet. Mm -hmm. So look in the package. I mm -hmm. guess you go to the grocery store and get frozen tilapia because mm -hmm. I've seen it in yes. the mm -hmm. frozen tilapia. You can tilapia. use fresh and now you will be eating local. And hey. that's really good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be tilapia, does it? That's right. Any white fish. Any white mm -hmm. fish. Any white Don't fish. Don't forget the pepper. Oh, the pepper, pepper, pepper. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got so, um, okay, I got it. just like I said, it's not that expensive. You just um, thaw, thaw your fillet, whatever you're going to use, and then you can just be ready to cook. So, how you say that you don't cook fish at home, right? So, many people bake their fish. Right. But today we're going to broil our fish. Broil or bake? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between broiling uh, and baking? Bake, you get um, heat all around. Okay. Right? That sounds good. Yes. So, now with broiling, the heat comes from above. Uh, oh, yes. yeah, above. You get above the, the burner uh, uh -huh. up top is on and the mm -hmm. bottom burner is not on. That's right. I got it. So <coughs> we're going to uh, put this pan six inches between um, four to six inches okay. from the, the top From part. the top. So mm -hmm. if you're only using the top burner, mm -hmm. does it cook all the way through? Yes, it will. Oh. But how we know that? How, how, we, how we know if our, our fish is ready? I got it. I got it. We use a thermometer. Thermometer. The, yes, yes, you're right. So are it. we ready to put it in the oven? I am ready, lady. Okay. So we're going to broil okay. our fish. Okay. We're going to broil. And we already preheat the uh, okay. oven and broiling and broil. Okay. So 350. 350. And I'm going to put the timer for six minutes. 
Six minutes. That's it all? It should be ready. So, well, but, okay. okay. Oh, that's good. That doesn't take long, does it? Oh, no. Okay. So this is good. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So now, yes. because you touch the fish, mm -hmm. you need to wash your hands, change your gloves, and then we're going to start getting ready for the um, salsa. Oh boy. Okay, that's yes. good. Okay. okay. So these gloves so are no can longer... Can you take that dish with you? That way I don't touch it? Of course. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Where do we uh, go from here? Okay, now, the first ingredient that we have Did in you here, duck? <laughs> yeah, kind of like. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So where do we go? Good. We're going to put our gloves again. I'll put our gloves on. Clean yeah. gloves. Clean gloves. Okay. Putting on my gloves. Yes, because we want to avoid cross-contamination, right? Cross-contamination. Yes, because uh, the other gloves, they were full of raw chicken, um, no chicken, but fish. Fish. Well, yeah. chicken, just the if same thing. If you want to make your tacos with fish, well, that's okay. <laughs> that's no, okay. with chicken, that's okay. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Cross-contamination. So, yes. I, I, was, I was handling fish, mm -hmm. which is a raw meat. That's right. So, we always need to, uh, if we were using a cutting board, we should have two different cutting boards, but we didn't cut the fish, right? That's right. So we can use this one. Okay. And our knives are clean. Right. And we, uh, we wash all our uh, fruits and vegetables. Okay. So we're going to start with our first ingredient that is uh, green pepper. I'm already cut that one for you, but I want you to tell me how do you normally cut your um, green pepper? How do I cut it? Mm -hmm. With a knife? Yeah. Okay. Good. Do you uh, have any technique or, oh. you know, the seeds kind of it can drive you crazy. Oh, yeah, sometimes. they do. The seeds all over the place. They start flying out and everywhere. Yes. So, how do you do to avoid the seeds going everywhere? Uh, you know, I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. So, do you want to know how to do it? Do you, is there a way? Yes. Help so me out. Grab here. that oh, um, pepper over there. There's a there. pepper right here. Okay. So, what we're going to do. We're going to cut this part first, okay? okay? Uh -huh. And then we're going to cut this part here. Uh-huh, cut it across like uh -huh. that. All right. Huh? Yeah, let's cut this Sh one first. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Shall yeah. I use this knife? Yes. Is this okay? Be very careful. And I want you to be using the skills that you have been learning with me. So, you have the power, right? You control the knife. Yes. The knife doesn't control you. Yes. Okay. Look here, knife. Okay. Arr. Good. Huh? Okay. Like that? Go ahead. Yeah, Is that it? perfect. That's it right mm -hmm. there. Just right. be, watch that finger over there. I don't oh, want yeah. you to cut those fingers. No, they're fine. They're fine? Okay. No, they've Are been cut sure? before many times. Well, but not in my kitchen. Yeah, not. <laughs> okay, and I don't want you to cut it in my Not kitchen. in your kitchen. Yes. Okay, how's okay, that? Good. Is that okay? Perfect. All right, now I'll cut this one. Cut the other all right, side. right there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, like that. Okay, Boom. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now we're going to... Um, you see everything is in the middle. Yeah, all those okay. seeds and everything. They yes. fly everywhere. So we're just going to cut a little line in here. Oh, okay. Okay, and we are going to open this. Uh -huh. So we basically oh. take the yeah. whole thing out. How about that? Yeah, and you have a few seeds that went everywhere. Uh, but sure, but not like it would normally be. That's right. All right. So then with your, um, you did that with a chef knife. Uh -huh. Now we're going to use a paring knife. Paring knife? Mm -hmm. And you're going to get rid of those white okay. things. Okay, this uh, like membrane. Or mem mm -hmm. Membrane kind of sort of thing. Yes. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm cutting away from myself. Oh, wow. You noticed I that. noticed that. Good job, Wayne. <laughs> Thank you. You are getting so well, good. Well, I'm just more conscious, I guess, of once you start trying to be safe, you become more conscious you of trying see, to be safe. You see, that's one thing that when we start cooking, most of the times we're learning from our grandparents or from our parents. So we're um, learning behaviors that they may not be the best behavior. So this is a good way to change our behavior. Very good. Now, okay. do I cut this into a little bitty whatever's like that? Yes, but remember, we always, when we cut things, we need to look for safety, and we also need to look for how do we feel more comfortable. So if you're trying to cut these like this, it's kind of hard to do it, right? Yeah. So let's turn this. Oh, yeah, that's smart. And look it. Yeah, how about that? Like. Yeah, don't cut my, my I will finger. not cut your finger. Huh? How's that? Mm -hmm. I will use this knife. Okay. And remember, we put good. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Cut a little bit more, and I and we can check our chicken. Okay. Okay. And what happened chicken. with this hand? 
What happened with this hand? Yeah, you see, you're cutting like this, and you're supposed to... Oh, I should, yeah, yes. I should be doing like that, yeah. yeah but no, no, like uh, that. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yes. like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got it. Good, good. Remember? Oh, yeah. Look at my... See? Your your point, your... Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It stays here. Put shape. Uh -huh. Good. Yes, now you got... Don't forget the other hand now. <laughs> This is hard. <laughs> I know it's hard, but it's because you have been doing it this way all your life. Yeah. Okay. All 30 years. I know. You cook every single day, right? For so, 30 years, and I'm tired. And then what you can do, it, and that's good, that's good. Is that you enough? practice enough. Okay. okay. Now, you, what you're going to do, you're going to put these together, uh -huh. and then you're going to cut this way. That way you get, uh, don't do that, remember? Your safe is first. It's first. Do it slow and keep the point. Keep the point of the knife down. Uh, I'm having a hard time today with your fingers. <laughs> okay. Don't look. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I have to look. I okay. Don't know. That's good. How about That's that? good. Perfect. Uh, okay. 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 Do you see how easy? Was that was easy. Do? Yes. So and also you can use these and just cut it the same way. Oh yeah. And okay. then we can cut also this side. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna take all these that way we can check our fish. Okay. Okay. And we don't eat while we cook. I know that. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring this in here. You can get this one. And we're going to see if her, um, our fish, fish. Is, I don't know why I want to say chicken today, <coughs> if our fish is ready. Okay. I'm going to change hands here. Okay. Do you here know what's the temperature that we need? I know chicken's 165. Perfect. What about fish? Uh, it smells so good. Did hmm? you it does smell good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me go ahead and get it out while I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. I'll pick a number. Maybe the smell will help you. The fish, <clears throat> well, it's not as thick as the chicken would be, so maybe the mm -hmm. temperature's a little lower. Uh, 160. No. 155. Uh, no. Do I have 150? Anybody? <laughs> 155. Go on once. 145. That's what I was going to say next. Mm -hmm. So let's use our thermometer. Using our thermometer, mm -hmm. our handy dandy thermometer. And one thing that we always recommend to try to uh, try different ones. Okay. That way we know that they're all they're ready. They're all done. Mm -hmm. Okay. I took the uh, little cover off here. Yes. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, he oh, here's an. It says on off. That's, That's where it right. turns to on. To make it easier. It <laughs> helps to turn it turn it on to make it easier. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's 76 degrees in here. Uh, okay. Let's see here. How's this right here? Wait a minute. Remember, if you do it straight, you may be touching the, the pan. I did touch the pan. Yes. So do that I go in sideways is, like that this? That is not correct. So <laughs> go on okay. the side. I'm going to go mm -hmm. on the side and, and just, go where just you like have. applying mm -hmm. a uh, flu shot. Thank you. We are at, well, we've surpassed one, 145. We're at 154, 155. Okay. Okay. That's that one. Now we want to check others? Yes. Okay. This one is at one already past 150. Okay. This one is at 149. Okay. Continuing to rise. And this one finally is at 147. Okay. And going so, up. This is one of the things that I always recommend what I'm doing in my classes. We're so used to just check her, um, you know, cut it and mm -hmm. see if it's, mm -hmm. if it's see not. See if it's done. Yes. Yeah. But the best way to do it, the safer way to do it is with a thermometer. A thermometer. Mm -hmm. These are 50, 60 bucks? No. Oh. You can find <coughs> one for $10. You can. And sometimes even less. At the $10 $7 store. Mm -hmm. oh, Be okay. sure that it's a digital thermometer because it's so much easier to read. It is easier to read, yes. Mm -hmm. And don't put it in your mouth. Right? Please don't. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move these to the side. And then hot? Uh, uh, maybe a little uh, bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you for thinking about my safety. Well, of course. Thank you. So now we're ready for um, salsa. 
salsa. Okay, so what we're going to need, we need one mango chopped. And we have that's the mango. That's it, right. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yes. Okay, that's the mango. So, and that was a very small mango, so hopefully we'll have enough. Okay. Uh, but I always recommend that size. And if you can find, be sure that it's more than round, long, because it's so much easier to cut. Because when I cut this, mm -hmm. the way I do it, mm -hmm. I cut um, before the seed. Is the seed? Yeah. 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 Okay. Before the seed. Before and the then, seed. And There's then a large, the other large side. seed in this. Yes. Isn't there? So, but if you find one that is round, and that's what happened to me with that one, yeah. you know, it was so much. It, it was harder to cut. So you want one that's oblong. Yes. Or mm -hmm. oval. Yes. Or egg shaped. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we need one, one. Okay. mango. One we mango. need a quarter cup of um, bell pepper. Bell pepper. So I have. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. I have. Don't put it on because huh? I have. You need a quarter of a cup. I need a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. One quarter. Yeah, one quarter. One fourth of a dollar. Yes. Okay, one quarter cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also need. Perfect. Thank you. I've we, been practicing. I know. Mm -hmm. I okay. like your measuring skills. Thank you. <laughs> we need a quarter of a cucumber. Quarter mm -hmm. cup? Yes. Quarter cup of cucumber. 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 Um, half cup of red onion. One half cup. My One half cup. favorite onion. One half cup. Mm -hmm. Red onion. Do you like red onion? Oh, yes. I love it. It's a bit stronger, isn't I, it? I know, but I just love it. It, it is really... Um, well, my husband cook it in a way that it doesn't, it, um, it loses the this, this strong. pungency. Yes. So I, it's rather strong. One day I'm going to show you how to do it the way you, it doesn't taste that strong. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, I'd certainly be interested mm -hmm. in that. Actually, where he, is, uh, he's, he was born, they do it all the time that way. Oh, really? But, mm -hmm. So uh, now we need two tablespoons of cilantro. And I think I'm already measured that one. You've already measured. That's yes. two tablespoons of yes. cilantro. And you can put less if you don't like cilantro, or don't put the cilantro if you don't like it. I heard a lot of people they don't like cilantro. Really? Because they say that the flavor is so strong. It but it's okay. up to the people. So then we need one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Uh -huh. Oh okay. gosh, you're so ready today. Right. Well, it was all that was left. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, one tablespoon. Go ahead. Put the whole thing in. Yes. Okay, I got it. And finally, we have we need one tablespoon of lime juice. Lime juice. Oh, lime juice. Mm -hmm. One yes. tablespoon. Yes, and I have the tablespoon there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. Tablespoon. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> you need to practice this I one do, a little I bit do. more. I do. I do. Yes. Maybe because you normally do it with real limes. And with my right hand. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, obviously, I do it with real limes. I don't use this that's, stuff. Yeah. That's why. Okay, one tablespoon. Got it. Okay, and we're just going to mix all the ingredients. Mix and it up. Say to us. Let's do this one. Okay. And if you smell their, this, it's just so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I'm... Eat with my nose. <laughs> like, <laughs> Eat with your nose. Yeah, you know, it's like I can taste the flavors <laughs> of the aromas. <laughs> Boy, I'm getting that onion. <sighs> I know. <sighs> and I cut it, and I didn't cry. Do you, you cry when you? Yeah, every time. Oh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you an advice. <laughs> okay, when you have your cutting board, yes. put some lime or uh, lemon on your cutting board. Rub it. The, so, on the cutting board. Uh huh. Oh. And then just cut your onion, and you will not cry anymore. Ever? Ever. Wow. Yeah, even if you're just sad, just rub it. <laughs> <laughs> if I take a if I take a, a a lime and rub it on my face, will I not cry anymore? Uh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> because you know you're already crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. Okay, how's that look? It looks really good. Yeah, okay. and it's, oh, yeah. So, yeah. we cook our fish. Okay, we got the fish cooked. We make our salsa. We have the salsa done. And now we need to make our slaw. Slaw. Yes. Slaw. So oh, slaw. So, only uh, three ingredients for that. Okay. Okay. I take so we're it. We're going to put this the cabbage. Mm -hmm. So, you have the cabbage. Got we're going to leave it in here. We need two cups. 
And um, we need a quarter cup of fat-free ranch. One quarter cup. Uh-huh. Fat-free yes. ranch. You have to I have a quarter there. cup right mm -hmm. here. I'm going to move a couple of things here out of the way. I'll help you. Okay, okay. Very good. All right. Now, one quarter cup. Yes. So I take this little doohickey here mm -hmm. and I open like cap. That's yes. French, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, like cap. Okay. Okay, and I just, one quarter cup uh -huh. would be. One quarter a, cup. Well, a quarter cup, yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that may be it. And notice that we're using fat for your ranch, a big difference in, cal difference in calories. And of course, no fat. Okay, I'm slightly over. Can you it's see that? Okay. It's okay. Is that okay? It's just, okay. Just a little bit I over. I think I put a little bit more than two cups, so oh, we'll okay. be good. So we have two cups of cabbage, yes. cabbage and mm -hmm. a quarter cup of fat-free uh, fat ranch. ranch. I think only 40 calories. Great. So that's good. Okay. I think the regular is like 120. Yeah, it's very high. Mm -hmm. And two tablespoons, so. 50 calories. 50. But, yeah, 50, but no cholesterol, a low amount of sodium. Mm -hmm. uh, Sugar, a Sugar is low, mm -hmm. 3 grams, and 11 grams of carbs. So it's low in carbs. It's low in everything. Uh, that, that's good. And, yeah. and remember, check different brands. Yeah. Because they may be different in calories. Too. I've seen that, too. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, this is a brand brand. A brand but now brand. There, are, there are house brands. Oh, yes. That are just mm -hmm. as good. Yes. Okay. Now pour this in. Yes. I, Go I ahead. just wanted to make sure. Yeah, we're, this is this is a really easy recipe because basically we just mix all the ingredients. Oh yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. And you can okay. use that. Okay. And our last ingredient for our slot mix, we're gonna use one teaspoon of chili powder. Chili powder, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have enough here? Yeah, then you're good. So, um, if you notice in the beginning, you maybe were like, oh, this is a lot of ingredients. Yeah. But really, we are only using half of the pepper, I think, half of the cucumber. So, you can double your recipe or you can make something else with, uh, with the ingredients that we're using. I'm already measured that. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. I thought that was left over from something. <laughs> no, no, no. Not no. a whole lot there, you see. Well, we it. only need one teaspoon of chili powder. One mm -hmm. teaspoon of chili powder. And by the way, I do want to mention that at the end of this program, mm -hmm. uh, if people just kind of hang on, they'll see the recipe. That's right. The and recipe. they can follow all the, the, well, the easy steps because, like I said, it's just mixing everything. Yeah. But they can find the ingredients and the amount of each ingredient. All you have to do is put the fish in the oven, preheat mm -hmm. the oven to 350, right? Yes. For six minutes. Six minutes. And then everything else but is just be, mixed up. But, uh, again, remember, each oven is different. Yeah. So that's why we need to use a thermometer. You know, it worked for us at six minutes, and that's what the recipe is telling you. Uh -huh. But if you really want to follow food safety uh, steps, be sure that you use your uh, thermometer. I didn't know ovens would vary like that. Do, yes. they, do they really? Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a new oven, yeah. you may burn your fish. I oh. don't know. Oh, wow. Well, you know, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. Okay. We're mixing here. Good. So all this is just kind of... Everything was just Everything mixed up. Everything is just mixing. Yeah, so right. while you do that, okay, I'm what are you gonna doing? start um, by putting my paper towel in the in a little bit of water because this is where we're gonna put our tortillas. Okay? Don't tell my Latino friends how I'm gonna um, <laughs> warm our tortillas because uh, normally my Latino friends will make their own tortillas, right? Okay. <laughs> Handmade tortillas. Handmade tortillas. I yes. won't tell anybody. Don't what are you doing? What, what is that? What are you doing, though? I mean, what does that do? Because uh, we don't want our tortillas to look dry like they look right now. They do look dry. So, yeah. yeah. So we want to, you know, our tortillas, or um, to look fresh. Yeah. Like we just made them. We just made them. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this paper towel, okay. and I'm gonna put. Uh, I don't know. I think I have 10 tortillas in here, so we're oh. going to make like 10 tacos. Okay. Can you eat 10 tacos? Well, I'll try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're going to put it in the microwave okay. for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. So, 
Okay, how's See? the slaw looking here? Does that look oh, okay? Oh, yes, you okay? did great. Oh, thank you. And you can use like the different color um, cabbage and it will oh, look really pretty. red cabbage. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. different colors. Oh, so. I bet that would be good. Yes. That would be, yeah. You see with the salsa, the different colors that we have yeah. there, plus this, I think it would be great. The, you know, the, these colors, these earth tone colors, uh -huh. that's very Mexico, isn't it? Well, we also do a lot of bright colors, so well, we're all too. about colors. Yeah, well, yeah, you're all, yeah, okay. Except just, this just... Latino girl, because people say that I wear a lot of black and white, but I don't know. Do you really? It's just me. You mean like what you're wearing right now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that not Hispanic? No, 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 it's not. oh no, because there's no red in or it. Latinos, they wear a lot of colors. No red, no yellow, no, no bright green, no, no. no blue. That's right. Black and white. Black and white. Okay. So now what we're gonna do? And I, what is no, it, Wade? No, it's okay. You just move right along. Change the subject. That's I'm okay. I'm sorry. Did no. I cut the conversation? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, look at what I'm doing here. What are you here. doing? You're cutting them in I'm half. I'm just cutting them in half. Mm -hmm. So that means that we can make eight tacos. Eight. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to uh, make the tacos? Are you kidding? Yes, okay. I am ready. Here it okay. is. So I take it, we take it. Yes. We just take and, uh, I didn't give you uh, something. How? Just put it in your hand. May I? Yes, and use this spoon. Is that how you would done. do it? Just like that? Yes, that's good. I'm wearing gloves. Yeah, you're perfect. Okay. You look like a taquero. Is there medicine for that? No, it's the taco man. Oh! Yes. Taquero. Taquero. Mm-hmm. Taquero. Taquero. I'm a taquero. Mm-hmm. So, just put the fish. Got it. Put your slaw and your salsa. And it's right. ready. Okay, like that? Yes. And Normally, then... I would put it in the middle so you have more room for the other stuff. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not criticizing your taco. No, you're fine. You're fine. You, I know. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. May I use the spoon? Yeah, go ahead. Just don't put too much because we're going to look too messy and we're on TV. Oh, I, oh yeah. I for, keep forgetting about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was wondering what, I was wondering what Pat was doing here. I know. No. Okay, and now, may I use this spoon? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> They're going to go to the same place, right? That's exactly right. That was my fault. I forgot to. What? What to should I have more, had? To put more spoons. Okay, mm. this is yours. Oh, thank you. Sure. So I'm going to put this one in here. Okay. In the middle. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Not too much slaw. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, this smells really, really good. Mm -hmm. and you know, I I, I, is it me or do I? I don't smell the fish as much. No, that I must think, be just, that must I be think because the other smells are so strong, I yeah, think that's just why. Yeah, overpowering mm -hmm. the fish. So, let's do our favorite part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I like this, yeah. Okay. Sampling, sampling our food. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You did really good. Wow. That is delicious. Mm. Hmm. What are you trying to tell me? No, I did the same thing. Oh, did you do it too? <laughs> <laughs> that is good delicious. That nobody's watching us. Somebody's watching? No, I hope not. Oh, gosh. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Mm hmm. I really made a mess, but I guess this is you're subject to being messy, aren't you? Oh, well, I think you need to practice more how to eat a I taco. I do. <laughs> I guess I do. I guess I do. Yes. Well, this is great. Now, what was the total amount of calories that we have? Mm-hmm. Well, 260 in each taco. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. Of course, total fat. Four grams, 4.5 grams. Okay. But the saturated fat, that is the the bad fat, mm -hmm. is only one gram. Really? So all the other three and a half comes from good fats. Okay. So that's good. Very good. Protein, 24 grams. Whoa, that's great. Mm -hmm. Carbohydrates, 29 grams. Okay. Um, fiber, two grams. 
Okay. And sodium, <coughs> only 110 milligrams. Oh, that's good. And if you don't have time or you don't want to make this um, salsa because you don't like mango or, I don't know, do you have any other reason, you can do pico de gallo. Oh, boy. So, and you can whoa, get whoa, whoa. that what from is, this what? store. <coughs> A the lot of stores. Pico de who? Pico de gallo. De gallo? Yes, and they, they have it, they already have it made, and it's normally with the produce. So, uh, so you go in and you ask for? Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. And Pico it's going to be on your recipe at the end. Gotcha. So, uh -huh. Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? But really? How do you say that again? Pico. Pico de gallo. De gallo. God, what's mm -hmm. gallo mean? Um, rooster. Yeah, it doesn't have nothing to do with the name of the salsa. Yeah, it's crazy because you don't put even chicken or anything like that. It's just tomatoes. What's, what's pico? Pico, uh, beak. Like. Beak of the rooster. Yes. But it doesn't have any rooster in it, does Nothing, it? nothing. Yeah, the name, okay. I don't know why. They... Pico de gallo. Pico what, de gallo. What, is, that a, is that a grain or is it like salt? or is it No, what? no, no. This is tomatoes, onions. Um, you basically do the same thing, but with tomatoes, onions, cilantro, lime, salt, and um, jalapenos. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. One day we need to make it in here. Well, let, yeah, we do. Yes. So this, the pico de gallo, mm -hmm. is that how you say it? Yes, would you, you got it. replace this. Yes, but really, for me, I think I prefer this I one like than this pico. Too, I love pico de gallo, but I think this one is yeah, really well, good. Well, it sure sounds good. I'm going to have to try that, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. And if you like habaneros, these, I think, will taste really good with habaneros. Oh, wow. I yeah. love habaneros. I wanted to bring some from our garden, mm -hmm. but the other day I took it to my husband, and he normally can eat the habaneros just like that. Mm, can he? No, they were so spicy, so just very hot. So. so they were very... Yeah, so I say, I don't want you to suffer. <laughs> You're so generous. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Okay. Very good. Stay tuned for the recipe. That's up next, and we'll have another program for you coming up very soon here on Wayne Goldsboro Television, and this is Cooking with Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you.